Hello, kia ora. I'm Philip Duncan from weatherwatch.co.nz with your global extremes weather update for Wednesday. And we kick off with an animated temperature map for the entire planet, showing clearly the coldest weather at the poles here in the blue and purples. Elsewhere, pretty mild weather, especially obviously through the equator, parts of Africa looking especially hot at the moment and parts of the Middle East as well. So let's just uh, drill down a bit deeper with the temperatures. As we head in towards Wednesday, the hottest weather across a large portion of the United States, the uh, hottest or the highest temperatures are in the white and pink shaded areas. So a big chunk of Brazil, Bolivia, Peru and the United States and also some parts of Cuba and Mexico all really feeling that heat at the moment. These areas are going well into the 30 degree Celsius mark or getting close to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Parts of Canada also pretty hot down around Ontario. Elsewhere not looking too bad and very hot weather obviously across big portions of Africa and also the uh, Saudi Arabia area and going into the Middle East. We've also got some hot weather across parts of China at the moment, mostly in the coastal side. Also Japan and the Philippines. And the reason why you've got a bit of extra heat at the moment, we saw that tropical depression just recently go by. It's now falling apart between Korea and Japan, but it's dredged up this hot, humid southerly out of the equator. So that's why you're seeing a lot of high temperatures in those areas. A big cool down here around the mountains, but pretty hot weather around Pakistan and parts of Bangladesh. And also, Australia is quite interesting right now. Very hot and humid along the north, but down here in the southeast, it's snowing, um, at least in the mountains and ranges, with a cold southerly out of the southern ocean. Southerly is hot here because it comes out of the equator. The southerly down here, very different story coming off uh, the Southern Ocean and towards Antarctica. So let's take a look now at the rainfall for the next 24 hours, showing the more extreme areas around planet Earth with the heaviest falls. So in Canada, the biggest rain coming out of Manitoba, moving into parts of Ontario. So you'll be seeing a few heavy falls through there. Heavy rain also around the Southern states, a few thunderstorms in the mix for you as well, and some big downpours around parts of Mexico and Guatemala, where there could be over 100 millimeters just in the next 24 hours. As we move through to Europe, we're seeing some heavy rain around Norway and Sweden. There's actually a, a stormy little low pressure system just off the coast, helping to push that rain right through and towards uh, Finland. Some heavy falls also around parts of Russia. Um, hopefully nothing too extreme though, and nothing really too extreme showing up in the rainfall further south. But Spain does have, have some bigger accumulations there, which could get, you know, up to 50 to 100 millimeters within the next 24 hours. And our final rainfall map is showing some big downpours around Japan and Korea, the leftovers from that tropical depression, some big falls also around northern parts of China, and uh, some heavier falls down here where the areas with the yellow shading could be seeing actually over 100 millimeters within the next 24 hours, and the usual big downpours and thunderstorms through the uh, Indonesia area and Papua New Guinea. Uh, snow, that's the other part of our map at the moment. We've got some snow falling. So we just mentioned the cold change coming in around parts of uh, Victoria and New South Wales and Canberra. We're seeing some snow flurries in the mountains and ranges around there, and also some snow flurries in New Zealand, although it's a mild northerly really in the New Zealand area right now. The heaviest snow that's falling on the planet for Wednesday is actually on the Andes between Chile and Argentina. We're actually seeing in this area here around about 70, 75 uh, centimeters of snow. So that is quite a bit. The downside, the bad news, is it's not really coming over into Argentina, which is in drought right now. They would love to see some rain falling in this area here, but it is looking very dry right now. Uh, Wind-wise, we've got a bit of windy weather around the planet. Uh, the windiest land area is Greenland at the moment. They've got gale force winds coming through here as a southerly, couple of big stormy systems out to the west, and another quite a beautiful looking one, if you ask me, um, around the southern parts of Greenland, quite next to Iceland. And over towards Sweden and Norway, we've got another low, the one I was just talking about, that's driving in some windy weather around parts of Norway and Sweden, and even a little bit into western parts of Finland. And along with that, a bit of a temperature drop as well as these northerlies start to come on in. Okay, the other map we've got to show windy weather is a, perhaps a little bit more interesting because this also shows the next set of tropical storms that we're keeping a very close eye on. Tropical disturbances, they're called when they're just starting out. So that's one here. There is another one up to the north, another one here, 
another one near Mexico, and this one out here already has a name, it's a depression called Marty. So we've got a few storms here that are all starting to develop. Whether or not they actually turn into hurricanes is a different question. Uh, a couple of them might do, but we've still got some time to go before we lock them in. A couple of them will just completely disappear. The computer modeling here called Spaghetti Modeling, this is thanks to IBM, um, who we're business partners with, and this is showing those two storms we just saw. So no threat to land based on those two out in the Atlantic. Uh, the third one down here looks like as though it falls apart. And then we've got these two new systems as well to track. So a fair bit going on, but it is mostly out at sea. There's no real threat to land, not at this early stage anyway. The National Hurricane Center is the uh, organization to trust if you are in that North America, Central America part of the world. Thunderstorms at the moment. This is as we record this. So that is going into Tuesday night for North America, you can see a big chunk of thunderstorms in those southern states. That's where that rainfall accumulation was showing up before as well. Plenty of thunderstorms though down in the areas where they normally are very active at this time of the year. As we move through to Australasia, we've got a few thunderstorms going in the areas where we would expect them. You can see that tropical energy where it's a bit more humid at the moment around the eastern side of China and parts of uh, well, Seoul, Korea, and over towards Japan, also seeing a line of thunderstorms heading your way. And we've got a few thunderstorms around parts of Europe, nothing too much really. I think Spain is probably the more interesting nation at the moment. Some very big downpours and some big slow moving thunderstorms in that part of the world. And Africa as well, some really big thunderstorms as they often are all year round, you see some big thunderstorms in this area, especially around Mali and Nigeria and Niger, you're seeing some big thunderstorms, which now takes me to this next map I wanna show you. This is the animated wind map, just simply showing winds blowing around at the moment. We showed you all those thunderstorms, so let's take a closer look at that right now, and you watch the way the wind is behaving. You can really see the air bubbling up and spreading out from the center. Uh, and there, these are these thunderstorms that are all sort of popping up as you get that afternoon heat around the equator. Just thought that was an interesting map. And while we're talking about interesting maps, what I might try and do when we do these global updates, which we're going to try and do every couple of days, um, is try and find the most beautiful looking weather system on the planet. There's always one. And you know, for those who really do love the weather, you'll know what I mean by beautiful. This is a beautiful looking low. I think it's the most beautiful looking one on the planet today. Has a, has a really nice shape to it between Sydney and Auckland, New Zealand. It's got subtropical winds on this side. It's got colder air out of the Southern Ocean on that side. And it's spinning quite nicely with a beautiful looking center to it. So there you go, something a little bit different in our weather video today. And that is all from me. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, you can follow us in more detail at weatherwatch.co.nz if you're in New Zealand. And for elsewhere around the world, please do use our business partners at IBM by simply going to weather.com. That's all from me. I'm Philip Duncan. I'll see you again on Friday with our next Global Extremes weather update.